KFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very cool Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a sea of red out there. All the U.S. indices that we track, they're trading to the downside. You've got the Dow off 409 points, 1%. S&P down 35, 7 tenths percent. NASDAQ 138, that's uh, 8 tenths percent. 2 percent for the Russell, 39 point move there. Some eyes are basically flat. They're off two points. Trend is down 201, one and a quarter percent. Gold's off 19 bucks, nearly 1 percent there. One and seven Seven tenths percent for silver, a 38 cent move there. 2020, 2241 is where that is printing. Lights recruit is back 48 pennies, trading out at 7180. Natural gas off a penny. 30 year treasury down nearly two points, printing out at 12001. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini. The ES Mini right now testing support, or at least one level of support. That would be the top of its daily profile. The number to watch there is 4939. If the S&P or the ES Mini, I should say, gets back below that or close below that, that's going to open up the door for a move to 4884 to 4902. That'll especially or likely be the outcome as long as that spot volatility remains above its 50-day exponents moving average. The 50-day printing at 1366, the spot at 1442. We're trading above yesterday's high. That's bullish for the spot volatilities. That would be bearish for the ES Mini. Nonetheless, still watch that 49.39 level. The NQ still has a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. The ES Mini needs a bearish reversal candle at day's end. It's got one right now. That's a bearish sash candle. But I don't know whether it will have a bearish engulfing or bearish reversal candle at day's end or not. But if it does, it'll confirm or reconfirm a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. U.S. dollar index, it's on a tear. It's likely targeting at least 104.66. That is the bottom of its weekly profile. While gold, while the dollar is moving higher, gold and silver are moving lower. Gold is testing pro, uh, not profile support, but is testing trend line support. In the case of silver, it is testing profile support at 22.37. Silver, not silver, uh, light sweet crude is also testing trend line support. It's trading below profile support. So if it closes below this trend line area, likely we get back into the December lows out there. Natural gas just trading sideways, but still below the support levels. We're watching for a weekly bullish reversal candle. All those chart doesn't show that. We're watching. We're waiting for a bullish reversal candle on the weekly time frame to identify a bottom. And lastly, if we take a look at that 30-year Treasury, trade in its support zone. That's between 119.23 and 120.17. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you're off to start your Monday, please have a magnificent one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.